Welcome aboard helicopter flight PLX, headed to the west coast of Greenland. If you could actually look at the molecules in the air down below, you'd see carbon dioxide concentrations averaging about 412 parts per million. That is, out of every million molecules of air, 412 of them are CO2. And that's more than the planet's seen in the last 3 million years. So where is all that extra carbon dioxide coming from? Mainly, all the carbon-based fuels we humans burn. For example, think about all the roads and cars you see every day. In every gallon of gasoline, there's about five pounds of carbon. Now, what does that look like? Well, imagine that carbon came out of a car's tailpipe, not as invisible carbon dioxide gas, but as solid chunks of carbon. If you add up all the world's cars, they produce three million tons of carbon every day. And that's just cars. When we add in power plants, factories, agriculture, and aviation, including helicopters like this one, the total carbon released from human activities in a year is 12 and a half billion tons. Enough to leave a pile of carbon four miles across and over a mile high. This is why scientists say we've ushered in a new geologic age called the Anthropocene, with humans now altering Earth's climate. But what exactly will all this CO2 actually do to our planet? Here in Greenland, you can see one of the impacts firsthand. Now make sure you buckle your seatbelt because we're about to land alongside the Jakobshavn Glacier. 